Are you tired of chasing love and relationships? Are you constantly searching for that perfect partner but never finding them? It's time to change your approach. Life is like being at the beach with waves of hope and sadness hitting us. Heartbreak feels like the love we want just disappears. But I want to talk about a different idea of love, one that isn't about texts or online chats. It's a kind of love you find by thinking deeply, like what Stoic philosophers talk about. Stoicism taught me why chasing love too hard can lead to problems and pain. This way of thinking focuses on being true to yourself, controlling your actions and thinking deeply about your life. By following Stoic ideas, I started to find answers inside me, not from others' praise or outside fixes for feeling good about myself. I realize true love is really about loving yourself first. I've got a new view on this and I want to tell you about it. Wanting to be loved is natural, but we can mistakenly think love is the answer to all our issues. We think finding a special person will fill us with happiness, free us from worries and bring peace. We hang on to the belief that love will lead to a good life, as we're told by society. There's a constant push to have a special someone seen in our social life, on TV shows and on social media platforms. Even in relationships, problems don't just disappear. Expecting too much can leave us let down, and we might keep looking for love even when we have it. Stoics say that it's not what happens that bothers us, but how we think about it. Thinking love will fix all our problems makes us think others should make us happy. Epicurus had a good point. Instead of wanting everything to go our way, we should want things to happen as they will, and then life will be smoother. Stoic teachings tell us that while love is important, it's not the solution to every problem. Real, lasting happiness comes from self-control, being true to yourself, and deep thinking. Many of us know what it's like to be physically somewhere, but mentally stuck in the past or worried about the future. Learning to live in the moment means focusing on the present, where life really happens. The present is a special, often overlooked gift. We can't change the past and the future is unknown, but right now is where we can do things and make choices. Being present helps us enjoy every bit of our lives more. Food seems tastier, laughter feels more real, and every moment is precious. This is really important in our relationships and when looking for true love. How can we make real connections if we're not mentally there? Being in the present involves dealing with daily difficulties honestly and being true in every interaction. It's not just about doing, it's about being honest and genuine with people. To sum it up, when you're looking for love, the value of living in the present really stands out. Happiness isn't in what was or what will be, but in the beauty of now. Ever felt stuck in the same patterns in your relationships? Wondering, why can't I find love? Or why didn't it work out, even though I did everything right? In this journey of self-discovery, I want to discuss how growing as a person can change the way you think about finding love. We often look for love because we think we're missing something and someone else can make our lives whole. But as Stoics teach, only those who free themselves are truly free. Growing personally means getting stronger, dealing with challenges and getting past them. Like Seneca said, a sailor can't use the wind if they don't know where they're going. Personal growth shows its worth when we face our fears, take chances and choose the hardest way. By growing ourselves, we can overcome fears, accept our flaws and make relationships that are real and communicate well. Let's discuss a key thing that can change how you look for love, thinking deeply about yourself. On the journey to true love, self-reflection is key. It means deeply exploring your thoughts and feelings, not just sitting quietly. 
This active thinking lets you search inside for answers. By looking at your thoughts and emotions, you can spot harmful patterns in your relationships. Self-reflection helps you confront these patterns, understand the roots of your fears, and find out why they keep happening. The real power of self-reflection is not only in spotting issues, but in giving you ways to change. You can work on your weak points, grow your good qualities, and make your relationships better. Self-reflection acts like a compass, leading you to healthier relationships. As you learn more about yourself, you'll better understand what you want in a partner and what you can give to a relationship. Marcus Aurelius once said, Give your all to even your smallest actions. That's the key to success. Appreciate the calmness that comes from self-reflection. It's more than just effort. It's a way to inner peace and better relationships. For a man, following stoic principles means valuing personal growth and building strong discipline and resilience. Stoicism shows us that being truly complete means always working to be better and not looking outside for what we already possess inside. When we look for love with inner strength, we form deeper and more meaningful relationships. In our world, shaped by social media, movies and outside pressures, we all feel the need to be liked, loved and approved. We are often told that to be loved, we have to look a certain way, be a certain height, act a certain way and dress in a certain style. To be accepted, it seems like we must be successful and popular, or else we risk being alone and unfulfilled. The pressure from society makes us chase love non-stop, but we often forget something vital, accepting ourselves. In Stoicism, self-acceptance is seen as key to inner peace. Seneca, a famous Stoic thinker, said, Life is short, and we all deal with what we have. The happiest person is the one who's happy with what they have. This idea leads us to an important part of our journey. Our intense search for love and approval from others can take us away from calmness. We end up always comparing ourselves to others, striving for impossible goals, and feeling anxious about not being enough. Stoics think being independent shows you're strong and can control yourself. Seneca said, real freedom is thinking for yourself. This means we should think about what having your own thoughts really means. In Stoicism, it's about not letting things like strong feelings or too much attachment control you. Having your own thoughts means you don't let your feelings push you around. Stoics try to free themselves from being ruled by emotions. They aim to control their own minds and lives. To stay emotionally independent, Stoics suggest two main things, meditation and being aware of the present moment. Meditation is a strong way to keep your emotions in check. For Stoics, especially men, meditation helps keep a balance in relationships. It teaches us to live in the now, to watch our thoughts and feelings without getting lost in them. As Seneca said, meditation helps us handle our emotions and stay calm in crazy times. Stoics think that meditation helps us see that our feelings react on their own, but we can choose how to act on them. For men who follow Stoicism, this means we can really control how we feel and what we do. It's really important to keep being independent. You shouldn't look for love just to fix what's missing in your life. Find someone who respects your independence and adds something good to your life. Talking well is key in any relationship, but we often get lost in confusing fights and pointless words. Stoics say that words can either help or hurt, and they think good communication is really important for better relationships. They believe talking well is a skill. It's more about listening than talking and trying to understand instead of just pushing your own ideas. Like Epicurus said, we have two ears and one mouth, so we should listen more than we talk. Good communication in Stoicism 
means being real and honest when you talk. It's not about just saying what others want to hear, but sharing your own thoughts and feelings in a clear and kind way. Being patient is really important in Stoicism, especially when it comes to true love. Stoics teach that love can't be forced or hurried. Instead of rushing to find love, we should be patient, knowing that time helps us. Stoic patience is about not giving in to being impatient, upset or worried. We should see time as something helpful, not as an enemy. From a Stoic view, patience shows us that real love takes time and doesn't follow a set schedule. Chasing love too hard can lead to a lot of letdowns, especially if we try to make everyone happy and forget what we really want. Stoicism tells us to concentrate on our own actions, to be our best selves, and to create relationships that are honest and respectful. Realizing that we don't need others to accept us to be happy helps us stop feeling like we need to chase love all the time. Instead, we can find peace and enjoy relationships more fully. Stoic thinking says that being true to ourselves, being patient, and understanding what we and others need are what really make us emotionally rich. So, rather than trying to make everyone else happy in our search for love, we should make ourselves happy, stay true to who we are, and form relationships based on respect and understanding. This is how we find real, meaningful love that comes from within us, not from desperately looking outside. In today's world, many people try to act a certain way to fit into society, often hiding who they really are. But what if we stop pretending and start being real? Stoics say that being true to yourself is the way to be truly free. Like Seneca said, you're only free if you control yourself. Being yourself means you don't worry about what others think. Being authentic lets us stop trying to make everyone happy and live by our own rules. In a world where love often seems about getting others to like us, being real helps us find deeper relationships. When we're true to ourselves, we meet people who like us for who we really are, not for some fake version. Being authentic also helps us handle tough times with grace. Marcus Aurelius believed that understanding everything around us helps us grow our minds. Stoics think knowing yourself starts with thinking about what you do, how you react, and how you feel every day. Doing this helps us see patterns and understand why we do things. Understanding our values is a key part of knowing ourselves. Stoics think the most important value is being virtuous, and everyone has to figure out what that means for them. It's also important to know how we react in tough or stressful times. Looking inward helps us see these reactions and choose to respond in ways that match our values. Knowing ourselves well makes us more sure of ourselves and real in what we do and in our relationships. As Epicurus said, decide what kind of person you want to be, then act like that. If this video made you think more about finding wise and meaningful love, consider taking the next step. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I hope you found this message helpful. Congrats for watching the whole video. That shows you really want to get better. If you liked the video, leave a comment. If you're not sure what to say, just write time-tested advice so I know you watched to the end. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and join us. Thanks for watching. See you next time.